This is Dan Howe, PTI Securities and Futures, coming to you for your daily wrap-up on Thursday, December 22nd. Uh, equity range overnight in the S&Ps was kind of narrow. It was only 14 points, a little lower than we've been expecting, so, but most of it was to the upside. Overnight, the Asian markets were mixed. The European markets were up. Um, still a little bit on the European markets. We're, we're getting a little bit of positive from the fact that, that uh, the banks are using that uh, facility for the three-year um, loans that the ECB is making. Once again, bad news that the banks needed to use it, but on the other hand, the fact that they are using it is, is basically calming the fact that a lot of these guys have to refinance in the first quarter, that making a little bit less likely that there's going to be any short-term liquidity issue, which is having a major impact on our financial stocks today, or, which were the strongest sector. During the course of the day, we had some fundamental news. The jobs number, the weekly jobless claims, came in better than expected. Quite, quite a bit, actually. We're down to 354, so realistically that has been a trend and very, very, very subject to seasonal fluctuations this time of year with the temporary hirings. However, the trend has been very good for the last four weeks. The GDP came in a little bit worse, though. It came in 1.8 versus an expected 2.0 unrevised from the previous one. A little bit more important than that is the consumer sentiment with, uh, section, which is came in at 1.7, which means that the discretionary spending of consumers, a little bit on the light side, and it could, if that continues, that could be a problem. However, the market didn't take it as such. Um, Michigan sentiment was a little bit better than expected, and the leading indicators a little bit better than expected. No real earnings news to speak of today. We opened up, and we actually kind of like slowly grounded up a little bit further. Very little volume today, by far the lowest of the year, um, probably the lowest for the year except for tomorrow, so probably tomorrow will be worse. But the S XPX closed up 10 to 12.54, the Dow closed up 62 to 12.170, NASDAQ closed up 21 to 25.99. Uh, a little bit on mixed though when it came to the interest rates because the bonds actually closed up a little bit, so you know that's kind of a contrary to what the market's been doing. So the yield on the 10-year closed uh, down to 1.95, and the dollar was actually week 79.92 down seven cents. A couple things that were a little bit interesting here today is the bonds went contrary to the stocks, which is kind of interesting. And also, even though we had no bad news out of Europe. If those who are watching closely did notice the fact that the Italian 10-year notes came in at 6.91, up 12 basis points. We're getting perilously close to the 7% level, which is a very psychological indicator. If we are above 7 for any length of time, that's when Portugal, Ireland, and Greece, and all those countries had their bailouts. So we're watching that one pretty closely. Tomorrow, uh, very, very expected to be very low volume. However, we do have personal income, we do have personal spending, and some new home sales tomorrow morning. So uh, looking forward to another very low volume day tomorrow. This is the Dan Howe PTI Securities and Futures.